How's it going my BNA studs? Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are actually going to be playing with the 3D effects in us inside of After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, now usually you could either... Basically this only works in ray trace mode which is basically just math. So uh, let's say the, comp the computer generates math and it creates the shape. So, um, so right here we have our EPS file and it's our logo as I'm sure you recognize or not but as you can see when we increase it it gets blurry and this is because it is not a vector based even though it says it's EPS and it should be After Effects doesn't recognize it as it until you convert it to a shape layer and when you convert it to a shape layer right click BNA Studios and then convert shapes from vector layer that will create a vector and basically this is like again math and it's saying these are its parameters these are this is just filling it in so it doesn't get blurry it's high quality always doesn't matter how small how big it gets so in ray trace mode what you want to do is first make your uh, vector a 3d one and up here you'll get this little box it'll pop up click that and then go to ray traced and it'll give you a little message and it might take a while for you depending on what beast your uh, After Effects is on. If you got a beast of a computer it shouldn't take that long but anyway so now that we're in Ray Traced we can go ahead and click down this arrow right here and go to geom Geometry Options and this is where you'll see the Extrusion Depth, Beth Devil, uh, Bevel Style, all that stuff and basically this will make it 3D. So let's go ahead and make a camera. Right click new camera, or you could just go to layer and then new camera. And we'll go ahead and make a 28 is fine, and uh, camera is fine as well. And it's on top, so that's good. Now, if we push C and we click on our composition and move around, we're actually moving around, so we can actually kind of see our layer now. So let's go ahead and go to our geometry options and our logo. So, we're going to put this uh, extrusion depth around, I'd say around 40. And as you can see, it created a 3D layer, uh, which is awesome. And we'll also make this convex, just because we can. And uh, also, V for your selection tool, and then you'll get these options. We want it white, just, just for me, just my personal liking. And uh, so this is what we get. Now let's go ahead and move alpha channel. And so this is what we're getting, which is awesome. We just created a two, a 3D layer out of a 2D layer, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. It may take a, may take a while for you guys, uh, depending on your RAM and uh, graphics card and all that stuff. Um, so actually, we'll go ahead and move. And yeah, I say about three is fine. Uh, not 30, three and just play around with those settings see what what you like more and uh, so yeah let's go ahead and now what you're saying now what you're seeing is just a white no no texture no material on it and so let's go ahead and make some metal shall we so what we're gonna want to do is import a JPEG or an HDR file whatever you have and we're gonna use a park and basically this is our environment this is what will reflect off of our text and give it the look that we want so depending on your image uh, it's going to look different so what we're going to want to do is right click your environment layer uh, which is just a jpeg right now and then click environment layer and this will make it environment layer except it still doesn't show up and this is because we haven't set up the settings that we need to so let's go ahead and go to material options and as you can see it's metal right now which is what we want and so let's go ahead and turn up the uh, reflection intensity as you can see we get a reflection off of our text now which is freaking awesome and uh, but also you can definitely see what's going on in the back you can definitely tell that it's a park uh, so what I do and what most people do um, is they go to the environment layer and just uh, go to effect 
fast blur. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you where it is because it won't be there for you. Blur and sharpen, and then fast blur. And then just increase this and repeat uh, edge pixels. And basically, when we turn around, uh, probably not that much, I'd probably say around 15. And when we turn around, you could see that there's a line in it, which isn't all too awesome. Uh, but that's because of that. And that's what happens when you don't have like a repeating background, when it doesn't mix in as well as it should. And so, but if you don't, if you uh, if you don't click repeat edge pixels, it creates that void, that black void. And I think a black void, I don't know, it looks a lot worse for some reason. But if you don't want that there, then you can just go into your environment layer, hit R for rotation, and then just rotate, oh, wrong way, and uh, rotate it, no, wrong way, and then <laughs> rotate the middle one, that's why, and it'll get out of your way. So uh, no matter, it's just reflecting off, really. So now, our, it's not, that little uh, edge is not in front of it, so it's not going to reflect if the camera is in front. Now, you might be wondering, well, that's stupid. I just, I just, I don't want the background or anything, which, let's be honest, nobody wants. So uh, let's go appears in reflection. I mean, unless you're, like, demonstrating a logo to a client and they got to pay first or something. But, uh... We're right here where it says appears in reflection. Go ahead and click that to only. And now, as you can see, it's only reflecting on our text. And it's looking delicious. So, uh, yeah, that's how you pretty much make a, a 3D, a 3D um, layer or 3D text out of a logo. And it has to be, it has to be in an EPS or AI file. And so that you would just do that through Illustrator or another vector-based software. Um, but yeah, so you just import that, and then like extrude all that good stuff. And you could also do it with text. We'll just do that really quick. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing, Oop. except a little bit different in the fact that you have to create the text. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and, where's my options? Just increase that. We'll just type BNA. Studios, and we'll go to Calibri, and we'll shut off that because that's actually we'll leave that on just so we can have some customization, and uh, we'll grow that out. So we'll just make it bigger, and we'll drag it to the middle. All right, so let's make this 3D again, and it might take a little bit while, but it didn't for us, so. Let's go ahead and start doing some stuff. So geometry options, extrusion depth, we'll go 40 again. Go to our camera tool, and as you can see, it's doing it. And the material options still work in everything. So uh, that's that's for that's for text. You just type it out. Pretty much do the same things. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn on not that our uh, 3D layers that we used before and we'll also play with a little bit more settings basically Andrew Kramer created element 3d to get rid of this process uh, so after effects can do it but uh, for our, for our smaller PC guys that you know element is the way to go if you don't want to you know have to deal with a whole bunch of RAM and stuff inside of after effects so uh, but anyway let's go ahead and go to uh, contents and then you'll have groups and as you can see when we hit each group it selects different letters and our group 9 is our BNA is our BNA and if you wanted to let's say click BNA and then add an animation or group 9 creates groups uh, we could do like a like a pucker and bloat and uh, so now our just BNA logo is is just reacting because we selected group nine and our studios isn't. I mean, it, cr it created individual. It looks like um, text because they're not connected or something. I don't know how that works, but I uh, created individual groups for each letter and also for the dot and the I. But uh, as you can see, it has some pretty cool um, stuff for it. 
so go ahead and play around with the groups and everything, see what you can come up with. And uh, so that's how you can have more customization with these 3D logos. And actually, this might be our permanent logo forever. I'm liking it. <laughs> uh, but I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. We're, we make stuff pretty much weekly here at BNA Studios. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.